how are you feeling is the place to start here? I'm feeling a little bit better. It's going better. I'm getting better day by day, but I got a few more days, so I'm just continue to attack, attack the rehab and see where it, how, what it, where it leads me. And is do you feel obviously you didn't practice yesterday, back out there today? Do you, do you feel you're trending in the direction that you'll play on Sunday? Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, as of right now, I haven't had any setbacks. So yeah, as of right now, um, attacking rehab early in the morning, late. You know, once we get out of meetings and stuff. So uh, I'm doing everything I could to be the best version of myself come Sunday. So we'll see. Uh, Sunday, you will be at least in some part facing a familiar guy in DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, how would you describe the, the battles that you guys have had early in your career? Oh, man, it's fun. You know, whenever you can go up against a caliber guy like that, uh, it brings the competitiveness out of you. Uh, you know uh, what to expect the whole week. You know you're going to get targeted. Uh, and, you know, no matter what, if you got them covered or not, the ball still is going to come, so you have to finish. So that those are the type of things that make me thrive. I, I, I thrive in moments like that and situations like that where I know that uh, coming to the game, no matter what, that I'm going to have opportunities to make plays on the ball, and uh, it's just going to be up to me to make those plays. It's just knowing going to get some, up against a caliber guy like that, you're not going to shut him out, but you just got to try to man, uh, limit the damage that he does to our defense and uh, – I feel like uh, if if I do that, be able to do that, I give our team a, a good situ- put our team in a good situation where we can take advantage of some things. Film, how were things different for him in Arizona than they were when you faced off against him uh, in Houston? Uh well, you know, in Houston, he was the number one read on pretty much every play. But Kyler Murray do, does a great job of uh, you know looking for other guys too and making it more difficult to hone in. So uh, I feel like you know. Uh, he's the number one guy, but uh, Kyler Murray does a great job of, you know, not locking in on him each and every play, each and every pass attempt. So I think that would make it more difficult to defend those guys now. Appreciate it. Thanks, Trey. I appreciate it. Hey, Trey. Heather Prusak here. Good to see you. How you doing, Heather? Um, Good, good. Uh, speaking of DeAndre, going up against a guy, you know, that caliber of a player, does it – Help when you're preparing for him the third time around that you have seen him already twice now in your career. Uh, when you go up against a, a guy that, of that caliber, you you your past battles really don't mean anything going forward because guys like him, you know, the reason why he stays at the top of the league at everything because he each and every year he adds something new to his to his toolbox. He's not the same player. He. Uh, you know, he runs different routes. He knows how to sell. He comes up with different things of how he get off the line at press or how he tracks the ball down the field of shielding guys. So uh, the past two games, those things don't matter because he's, he's in a different system too, and he's in a different place in his career, and uh, I'm just going into my fourth thing. So I feel like, you know, those two battles that we had, even last year in the playoff, it, it, it's nothing that, uh, that I can go back and just be like, yeah, I can try to – work on this or do this against him because he's came in this year. He's a totally different player. He got more tools to his toolbox. So uh, it's going to be a difficult challenge for us. Looking at some of the other weapons that Kyler Murray has in the passing game, you look at a guy like Larry Fitzgerald, you know, future Hall of Famer, even um, Christian Kirk has been one of his favorite targets the past couple games. What do you see, um, you know, just from that receiving core as a whole that Murray has at his disposal and how yeah, dangerous it like, can be? Yeah, just like I was just telling John, I mean, Kyler does a great job of spreading the ball around. So you can't just lock in and try to double Hopkins because you're going to leave other guys uh, uh, out one-on-one. So it's difficult to cover those guys. They have a lot of speed. Uh, uh, Isabella, he's a guy that can take the top off the defense. Then Christian Kirk, then Larry, you already know what he's going to get from him. He's, he's going to block in the, in the run game. He's going to do all the smart things to, you know, to be successful. And then the tight end, 85, he does a great job of, being a vertical threat also and getting across the field and um, getting um, yards out the catch. So it's going to be a difficult challenge. And then with Kyler, you have to stop him from running the ball too. So uh, those type of things that, uh, you know, keep he's going to keep Coach Frazier up at night. But uh, I feel like, you know, if we continue to do the great great job and prepare well, I think that we'll try to limit uh, the big plays that those guys have. They're very explosive. Thanks, Trey. I appreciate it. Hey, Trey, now that you guys are through nine games heading into week 10 here, what have you learned about your defense this season? Uh, I mean, we're, we're guys that uh, we, we attack the challenge and uh, when our back's against the wall, we, we love the challenge and we thrive in those moments. And I feel like these last couple of weeks, uh, we've been – we've come in and we, we know what our identity is. We're we trying – we're starting to take the ball away and we're playing with a little more confidence. And, uh, you know, guys, we're getting at uh, – 
that connection with each other because we got a lot of new guys and we starting to finally starting to gel and bond as as a group and play 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 together as all the eleven guys on the field and being on the same page. And I think that with reps and time, those things come because uh, it's hard in the NFL. So uh, I think that uh, we've been doing a great job of just yelling and playing total team defense these last couple of weeks. Can you think back to a game or a play in the last couple of weeks where you think this defense really got their confidence or was it in practice? Uh, I don't know. I think just over time. And I think that uh, I think the Jets game was, you know, was one of the games that gave us a little bit of confidence. And then the next week we got a little bit more against, the, uh, against uh, New England. And then I think last week was, you know, was something that we can build off of and gave us a little bit more confidence. So we got to continue to build because we're still not there yet. But I think that uh, if we continue to prep, prepare and gel the way we continue to gel and play team total defense, that I think that we continue to get better and better when, uh, when it really matters. I love it. Thanks, Trey. I appreciate it, man. Hey, Trey, how you doing? It's Sal. What's up, buddy? What's up, Sal? How you doing? Good. Just uh, talking to you and watching the Masters, man. Life is weird. Life is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, when, when the schedule comes out, do you, do you kind of like circle some of these games, the, t the high profile guys, DeAndre, DK, like, do you think about that? Is it, is it, do you, are you, yeah, just kind of tell me what, about what goes into that or do you not allow yourself to do that? Nah, I can't. Cause, uh, that'll be skipping over in opponents that we got before those guys. So I think that, uh, I do What's a up, great man? job and, co and coach McDermott does a great job of keeping us at the task at hand. So, you know, one DK last week, so that that was on my mind last week. So DeAndre Hopkins is on Shaw my mind this week. So, is. so I think that uh, <laughs> if I continue to prepare well and do the things that I always do, with, you know, with my extra and my rehab and just getting enough sleep and watching enough film, I think that I'll be fine. So my my um, my preparation never changed when it comes to having a, a big time matchup. It's it's all the same. I stay even keel. You know, I know that going into the games against guys like that, that those guys are going to make plays too. I just try to limit the damage that those guys do out to our defense. And I think that that plays a big part in our defense uh, being successful if I just limit those guys from making the big splash plays all over the field. I know you probably talked about this after the game, but just take me through the interception a little bit. Um, you know, was that something you kind of baited and were hoping for? You know, did you saw on film that maybe something they did? Uh, was it something yeah. post-snap post that you felt? What happened? Yeah, I feel like every team has that that route combination in their, in, 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 in their play with, but it was just something that uh, just trial and error, just been beat on and seeing so many times uh, how the number one receiver come off the ball and just, he let, sort of let me jam him and he was running outside and he was just basically trying to run me off and take my attention off. And so once I got my hands on him and I felt the way that he was releasing and I just looked inside and I saw the receiver running up the field. So I already knew what the route was going to be. I just didn't want to break on the, on the throw before Russell, before he throws the ball, because he wasn't gonna throw it, so um, I just sort of just sink. And I, he never saw me. He never he never knew that I was gonna be there. And once I saw the ball released, that's when I sped up a little bit and just jumped up and tacked the ball in the air. But I was telling my coach, I was like, I've been doing things like that the whole year, but the quarterback just haven't been throwing the ball. Right. So you know, finally when my opportunity came, I seized the moment. So uh, it was it was something that uh, that. You know, fam studying and, and just being out there and, and being beat on that route so many times. It just paid. All right, man. Thanks. Uh, how's the family? Everybody's good? Little, yeah, little guys everybody are good? good. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, man. All right. All right. Sorry to cut it off, but he's got to eat before meeting. All right, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Jay. Yeah. Have a good one.